what we're doing is we're going to set up your club head first okay and just make sure you look down your target line okay and then your feet your shoulder and your hips are going to start off square so like a railroad track okay and then in your case because you want to do a little bit of a draw you drop that right foot back okay on on the front view we're going to try to get your hands a little more centered and relaxed even though it's it's inside your left eye but not pushed forward okay and then if you start hooking it just get a little bit more in the fingers cover that thumb make sure it's in the lifeline of your hands yeah okay because you tend to be a little strong that's still a little strong try to get it where you see the finger perfect okay so that's just if you start over cooking it okay and then really all we talked about go ahead and back up from the ball here for a second okay you tend to slide right weight moves to the outside no no turn right okay so now we're gonna make sure you start off middle and feel the right hip turn back slightly where you're gonna feel the weight inside the right heel inside the left heel yeah just try to stay centered though Steve because I don't want because right now like I don't want your head way behind the, there you go is that okay? Yeah, that Okay. Good. Yeah. Perfect. What am I turning? Yeah, no, it's definitely better. It's definitely better. Okay. You don't have to overcook that because I promise okay. you, once you turn this and you feel this, yeah. your upper body is going to follow. Okay. You don't have to make it do more than that. Okay? So we'll just do slight hands more middle. There you go. And they're just, that's what I say, the little tendencies you'll have in there. Good. Okay. All right, just try a few of them. You can blame me if you don't like it. That's all right. That one, that one's on me. <laughs> if you're trying what I'm asking you to do, you can blame me. Okay. If you're coming up with ten other things that's on your own, that's you know, can't blame me. <laughs> Check the line. Uh huh. Setup's better. That's all right. That's all right. Let's try to get you just a tad more narrow okay. with your stance, just so you don't feel like you're shifting too much. Yeah. Good. How'd that feel? Very nice. Good. And in turn, once you start pivoting with your hip, yep. your upper body turns where you're 90 degrees to the target, and then you'll start being able to finish your golf swing all the way around. Okay. Okay. How's that? That was nice. Good. Okay, let me record a couple this way. Okay, and then this end, here, let me pause it for a second. Okay, so on this one, just the hands under the shoulders, right? You got, you're good? Okay, now this one, okay, you tend to be slightly steep yep. with your shaft. So you kind of yeah, yeah, but, but here's the thing is, once you pivot, it's already going to happen. So I'm looking for it on this end, I want to make sure the shaft goes right through the middle of the bicep. Okay. Okay, as opposed to towards the right shoulder. All right, so feel it in the, feel it in the feet. That's all right. How'd you hit that one, Steve? Good. Good. Okay, check your alignment. There you go. And just drop that the right foot back maybe two inches. There you go. Not everything, right? There you go. Much better. Much better. Slight draw on there, right? What's that? I think I was cheating too much on the alignment. Yeah. Now you're really to the right. You're... I'm just joking. I'm going to call you on it, so... There you go. That's all right. That's all right. You're a little too close to the ball? Yeah. Yeah. And no worries. You're working on it. That's right. Still get that pivot in there. That one you didn't load up as much, right? Yeah. Okay. Closer? Okay, so when you set up on this next one, yeah. okay, we'll do a couple more. Okay, what I want you to do is I want you to set the club face first, okay. then set your feet in. Because the last, like, three or four, you had your feet stuck. And then you move the ball. I want you to, but do you see how right now your feet are stuck? I want you, 
Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Totally. And that'll help the alignment part. So set that club first, then step in with your feet. You got it. That's better. And then that'll help you with your, your distance from the ball. That's all right. Okay, so that one, left heel came up, which means weight wasn't inside the heel. Make sense? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. You notice your feet first, yeah, right? I did, I did. And I know this is gonna goof you up a little bit, but in practice you can you can you can get the kinks out, you know. That's right. That one, your body moved forward, the shaft moved out just a tad. Okay. That's all right. That's all right. Just slow it down a little bit. Take a couple, huh? I was tense, I could feel it. Well, and that's the thing for you, my guess is like, because you saw that one shank a little bit and then, oh my God, oh my gosh. Just relax, no, it's not, I mean, it's no big deal. You're just out of position, that's all it is. I want you stressed about it. But I would say, take your time to set the club and then just try to feel it in your feet, but go slow. Yeah. Don't be in a rush to get it over with. Better. So I think for you, when you get way out of position, that shank, that's when you tense up and yeah. too much, too fast. Yeah.